radical miracles of the Quran. Throughout all the Quran, if you count some specific words, you will come across to a very, to very meaningful results. I would like to give you some examples. For instance, if you count the word punishment in the Holy Quran, throughout the whole Quran, it is repeated some 117 times. Whereas the word forgive is repeated some 234 times inside the whole Quran. 234. Uh, 234. Hello, everybody. Peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to get the Abdul, the liars busted. You see, the Muslims, uh, some people, sometimes they say to me, you keep saying Muslims are liars, Muslims are liars. What I, I, what I can say, they are liars. I'm going to show you in the front of your eyes that the numbers this guy is giving you is absolutely false. First of all, you notice that he did not mention to us which Arabic word he's talking about. The one is called punishment or the one is called forgive. The only word is mentioned in the Quran about punishment. There is a, like, there is a word like torture, which is adab. There is a word which is a, a punishment, which is iqab. So if we go, and I will check both of them to show you that this is not really what Islam is, what, what he is saying. Uh, if we type the word iqab here, all right, and I, this is the word iqab, which means punishment, and we click search, and I will get all the words in the Quran. You see, this is any word, not exact word. Any word. Anyway, let us do it again. It is located 24 times in the whole Quran. But based on his number is 117. 117. Which is absolutely a lie. Now, we will give it another, another like a, a try. We will switch to English and we will search for the word punishment. Which is not really the, the word he is talking about because you know uh, it's different in the Muslim translation. Sometimes Muslim they translate the word torture, which is not really does not mean uh, punishment. It means torture. Uh, some of them they translate it as a punishment. But let us see. We will give it a try. Punishment. All right. Switch. Yusuf Ali. 139 in 135 verses okay maybe this one is wrong let us try another translation so it's not it doesn't come as 117 as he said even if we use the word punishment we go to shagir <clears throat> it's 174 so it's not 117 as he said according to shakir biktal it's 88 time according to biktal one more, Mohsen Khan, 171, not 117, as he said. Sahih International, 352. <laughs> so we could not find the word in Arabic, as he said. It is just a few, a few times repeated, 24 times. And the, the rest of the translation of punishment is not really about the word punishment. This is a stupid Muslim translation which mean torture in most of the cases, you know, like it says. And for them, is going to be a great torture, not really a punishment. Uh, but, you know, uh, I understand that the Muslims, when they try, uh, you know, to... Uh, uh, you see here, the word is not punishment. And for them, a great torture. For Allah is the is the God of torture. This is why in other verse in the Quran, He said Allah will insert in their anus, in the anus of the Muslims, a long chain, and this chain is going to be each ring of it is in the size of, uh, uh, like the whole iron in the world. So as you see, those numbers are false and nothing to do with the truth. Now let us go to something else. He said. Uh, uh, well, hold on, let's go here. He mentioned uh, the word forgive. He said forgive appear 234 times. Let us search. 
this is the word for giving Arabic I will I will go first for the Arabic okay let's go to Arabic we type it let's switch to Arabic and we will take the root of it so it can can it will count all the words have to do with it Rafara, which means past tense forgive all right 124th uh, 24 time this is any word if we take exact once only so if attached to other letters you know that will come as 124 time but in his video it was 200 34 time I'm going to type the word forgive in English let us see which translation is going to give us 234 time if it is exist okay be my witness we switch to English and we click start with Yusuf a translation search 144 time or versus 155 time so it's far away almost like a 100 time is missing from the numbers he gave us we go to Shakir 129 time Biktar 133 time Mohsen Khan 177 time Sahih International 156 time so where is the 200 34 time he is talking about my friends every Muslim is a liar until he proved the opposite those people they are following the devil and they fabricate in order to conquer they want to conquer your mind they think that because you are ignorant about the Arabic we can fool you not in under my watch thank you very much for listening Share the video with your friends, and God bless you. And by the way, if you want to look about the miracle of the Quran, and if you want to have a real committee, I'm telling you, a real committee, you can go to Amazon, type Amazon.com, and you can type my name there, Christian Prince, and you will find a list of my books in many languages. But if you speak English, there's two books I advise you to have. One of them is The Deception of Allah, which is a great book for those who want to you know, have... Uh, a handy reference about everything about Islam however in this book uh, I mention a lot of what Muslims claim to be miracles but to complete it there is a specific book called Quran and science in depth speaking as you see from the title about what the Muslims claim to be science and I guarantee you you will die laughing I hope not die really you know just laughing from what it's called the science of Islam Islam is the most stupid religion and only fool believe in such a garbage thank you very much share the video feel free to download it and give it to your friends and post it in your YouTube I don't mind and this is a Christian Prince with you wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year thank you